Hey folks, Tibic here, and welcome back to Terraria. Um, I found ice feathers. Oh yeah, ice feathers are kind of cool. Um, we're gonna need 20 solo flight. Uh, I also found a first two pieces of a frost set. Um, this one is a little bit less... Um, uh, it's a little bit less defense from these guys, um, from the frost set that I have here, um, but it will create um, frost burn on enemies, and mechanical enemies are not invincible when it comes to frost burn, it cannot avoid that, so hopefully, hopefully, I can survive the destroyer with that one, but frozen wings, what did I get? Hasty. Mm, more movement speed. So, these are actually better than the ones I've had before. Wow. Let's see. Um, starting from... Let's start here. Just fly straight up. That's pretty far up. Let's uh, try the harpy wings. Yeah, that's uh, quite the difference. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So I got my set of faster wings, or rather, better wings. With that, I should actually get some white dye. Do I have that? Or silver, maybe. Uh, do I have anything to make that? Nope, I'll have to buy it, I think. But, um. If I speak to him here. Not quite, but. Hmm, maybe. Not sure. Maybe I should have a bit more. whitish. Teal is too bright. How about this one? Cyan. Much better. My hat doesn't really change, but... This makes me look all... Yeah, I like it. Let's use that. It makes me look very frost. Frosty. <laughs> so, let me just put these back. I can use them for something else. I don't need the ice fed right now, and I don't need the top hat at the moment. Nice. Matching wings. I like it. Um, yeah, so today, what do I want to get done? Well, I've started already with the, uh, with the farm. And, uh, let's see. I need to put away my wings. I don't need to carry them around. Put them there. Uh, yeah, I started with the farm, so I should probably start planting that one. So why don't I clear up my inventory, because it's very messy right now, and be back with you in a moment. Here I am in my farming area. Um, I wonder now if I can actually... No, I can't. So we're going to have to be fast with this. Oh. I need to clear out the flowers on top and place down these. That's all. Um, I have quite a lot of blink root seeds. And these bloom only during the night, I think. Oh. Um, I'm only going to go with one row. And then we're going to go with day bloom. That won't be even a row. Day uh, bloom is gonna go here. I have a plan for this. Oh, Psst. did not mean to do that. There we go. There we go. And then uh, moon glow. Moonglow goes 
<coughs> oh, sorry about that. Uh, I've got a bit of a cold here, so... Uh... Hmm. What? Kind of alternates... Right. So something like that. I wonder, can I plant the fire blossom directly in the pot? No, I need the fire blossom seeds. Um, we're also going to need water leaf seeds and deathweed on this one. Mm. So I'm gonna need to s get seeds for the fire blossom. There's only one way to do this, and that's to get a bucket of lava and get fire blossom from there. Um, let's see. These can go back. We don't need them right now. Um, yeah, so I've planted the first set, which is excellent because the plan I have is to make these top four groups here into blink root. The next one here, the next four will be day blossom. The next four will be, all well, these ones will be moon glow. And then one row of deathweed, one row of water leaf, and one row of fire blossom. Um, yeah, so I should probably get myself a bucket and uh, go get some lava collected. Should have some buckets somewhere, I think. Unless I threw them out. Anyhow, I'm gonna do that off camera because it's uh, going to be a long trip down to the bottom of the world and back up again. So, see you guys in a moment. Okay. I've gathered up a little bit of lava. Which we'll need to have at the bottom of this. And we can now plant... These three. Little plants. I think I might need more lava, though. Uh, I have made... A room to the side here. Oh, not that one. That one. This one. Uh, which I will use as a lava generator. Um, I am a bit worried though because the pickaxe is very quick. So I have to be very careful when I'm working around this. Uh, but I'm going to give it a shot. Um, I'm thinking... If I were to make an inner box here, um, equal size to, let's see, well, make it like this, and all the way up, like so. But I'm thinking, just because of safety concerns and everything, I will make this a split tank, so I don't have too much lava. Uh, there is a lake underneath, which I can dump the lava into in case of trouble. There we go. Now I'm thinking... Maybe I should split this one. So let's see. That's eight. That's uh, one, two, three, four. Eight. I'm just trying to find the mid point here. There's no midpoint, of course. Um, I should extend this up one. Uh, I do that. So that's the midpoint. Uh, let's clean this extra off. Um, so, a lava generator. They are kind of useful. Um, they work by duplicating the lava. But wait, isn't that cheating? Y yes, in a sense it is. But it saves me a lot of trouble um, trying to get all the lava. And I need it, so... Um, oh, this is kind of interesting. Um, I want to make sure that these are blocks. We still want to make sure that we have the three wide barrier. Otherwise, in case corruption came, uh, comes all the way to this place, 
we will be in trouble. Okay, let's see. Can I place a block down there? Yes. Uh, that also means that even if I do break this and water flows in, though it didn't, good. Looks good. I can clear this out as well. The bottom part of this will be a water tank. That way, in case things go really bad, I can just open up uh, the lava tank into the water tank and mine out all the obsidian. There we go. I will need a pump. Uh, and I will need... Hmm. Pumps on wires. Timers. I don't know if the pumps are one off or if they are... I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, I got plenty of wires. I should get the cutter and the red and blue wrench. I have one timer, so suppose these pumps can go on the same timer. Yep. Okay. I also need to make the pump itself. Um, and that requires... Um, I can't remember. I think it's iron. Hey, Mr. Guide. Come here. I know that we use wires in the pumps. So it's iron and iron. So we're gonna get about... Well, we need four pumps in total. So we're gonna get 40 iron. I should have that. I didn't. That should be more than enough. 40 iron and... Uh, let's see. Where's the iron? There it is. 33 was not quite enough, but we can make the first one. In and the out pump. We'll start with two. Now, I need to be very, very careful. But this works like this. If I place the in pump. No, the out pump. There. Let's place it... There. And we can dig that out. And then... Close this up again. Now, after I started this, I cannot go in there and do any work, so... I need to be sure that this is how I want it. But, let's go for it. Um... I will place the timer in the wall here. It will be there. And we can then place the red wire from there to the pump. Oh. I need the wire cutters. To there. Now, all I need to do is pour in some lava. I'm not sure if I should maybe make a... I don't know. Let's start up. This should work. And that should eventually fill up this area with lava. Let's um, get seven more iron. silver. There we go. I really, really need to go hunt for more iron. Uh, two more pumps. Out and in pump. And now we'll get a bucket of water. No, I quite like that, so... What I can also do with this is uh, set up a generator so that it pumps out... I do hope that this still works, actually. It's not really duplicating any.
Hmm. We'll see. Uh, it should work, but... There we go. Um, it's there. I want to have the outlet there. Why? Do I need three? Outlet. No, not there. Why can't I put it where I want it? Outlet pump to go there. Perfect. And inlet pump to go there. I have a dog that is really asking for my attention. I don't know why. He's been out, so... Okay, so let's uh, remove that last one. It should not be needed. And pour in some water. Is that not enough? Why is that one not pumping? Can I put down a blue cable as well? Very odd. Wire cutters for the red one. Oh, it's probably... Oh, I'm silly. It has to be different uh, circuits. Now, let's go get some water again. He's staring at me, little dog. We went to a dog show the other day and uh, he scored a uh, second best place, which is very good considering that we didn't have really very high hopes for him, but yeah, looking very good. Um, I think maybe that I need to move the wiring a little bit further away. Yeah, I do. So let's get the wire cutters. And place down blue wire. Up like so. And uh, like so. Now it's pumping. Now these two will work, and I think this one is actually filling up. Let's see if I can take three buckets and still have a lot. Yes. So I'm going to keep working on these. I'm not sure how much it actually needs to be, but eventually it will be enough, and uh, it will show on the blooming flowers. So yeah, I am going to continue with this a little bit, and uh, I see that I am over time on this episode so hope you enjoyed this one and in the next one we'll set up an obsidian generator as well uh, by using these pumps i can actually pump from this one once this one is full into another uh vat so to say so yeah i will see you guys in the next episode take care <laughs> bye bye